You ready? Yeah. Let's go. One of the realest, you feel it every time I speak. Went from rock, rock bottom to the peak of the peak. I ain't talking flavor of the month or pick of the week. I bless them with the killer technique or something unique. And y'all sit with the lyrical transcend the physical ever since the day that they cut my umbilical. Dedicated, committed, and focused on the cause. Fell in love with the music and the energy it draws. Pause. While I perfect the style. So when I give them something, give them something worthwhile. Versatile with it. I hit it, I done did it ever since back in the day. We try to get with it, get it any way I can from here to the other. Side of the planet, electro ground brother. Fresh, so clean, but still so good. Word to your cousin, like word to your mother. Trust that. I'ma bust that. What's up, guys? I'm here in sunny Tarifa at the Europeans' most famous spot, Balneario, uh, reviewing the North Orbit to the Cabrina Nitro. These kites are made for exactly the same thing high performance, big air. Um, but they're quite a bit different. Both are also designed by Pat Goodman, um, a very famous sky designer. Uh, he has stepped so, yeah. right now. from north to Cabrina this year uh, and made the Nitro with Cabrina. Um, you would say that these skies would be very similar since they're designed by the same guy, uh, but there's a bit of difference in both of them and I'll explain them. On the Nitro, we have a new material for Cabrina. Uh, it's called Apex. It's very similar to SLS material, only a little bit more rigid and tear resistant. Uh, and it's more stiff than the material that's used on the leading edge of the North Orbit. The North has a little bit of lighter material as well compared to the 2022. Um, but the stiffness of this leading edge material makes the Nitro feel a little bit different than the Orbit in my opinion. The Nitro for sure has a little bit more lift. You go up a bit more straight and your hang time is a bit more. Uh, which can help you in your board of game if you're going on a 10 or a larger size. The kite also loops a bit different. When I loop the Nitro, I feel like it's a bit more twisted around its own axis. And with the North, I feel like it's a bit more of a swept loop. Myself, I'm used to the Orbit, so it's a bit hard for me to compare the loops. For me, my preference goes out to the Orbit since that's my kite that I'm riding most of the time. But I really like that the, the Nitro gave me confidence after two or three jumps to do a, a kite loop. And there was no hesitation in the kite not catching me. The bridle attachments are pretty similar. There are four points uh, on the bridles on the leading edge that connect your power lines to the leading edge. In my experience, the Orbit had a little bit more bar pressure and felt a bit more direct, while the Nitro felt a little bit faster but had little lower bar pressure and felt a little bit uh, more fluid around the turning. I would say both have light bar pressure compared to other brands. The kites feel very similar to Fly. The Nitro, due to its uh, more stiffer material, is a bit more expensive. To really find the kite that suits your riding best, I would suggest trying both of them. You can ask me or Michiel to ride the Orbit, or Stino and Sven from our team to ride the Nitro, if you ever see us on the beach. I would say that both kites are very good for high performance big air. They both give you a lot of confidence in trying new tricks. You really feel where the kite is positioned in uh, your tricks, which is really important if you're trying big air. If you're going into a rotation and you can feel that your kite is a little bit too far to one side, you know that you shouldn't pull a loop. Um, that's really giving a lot of confidence and that's coming from both kites. My suggestion if you, if you want to make a choice, uh, go to a store. For example, Kite Shop Haarlem uh, has uh, both of these kites in demo if you're living in the Netherlands and otherwise if you see us around, uh, hit us up, you can try the kite yourself because there's only one way to find out what kite is right for you and that's by testing it. So I hope to see you guys again in the next video uh, and stay tuned for more. What's up guys, it's Tino here. I'm standing right next to my all new favorite kite. It's a Cabrina Nitro 8 meter. And I will tell you right now why I like it so much. So at first uh, the kite boosts you to the moon. It has a very sick astronaut on the graphics and that's uh, really a signature that it jumps super high. The kite turns super fast. Uh, you don't have a lot of bar pressure so when you jump, you take off, you feel that the kite is lifting you up and then you steer the kite really easy, you pull the loop and it catches you like straight after like super fast. So that gives me a lot of confidence during all of my tricks. So for example if you have a kite loop board off upside down you see the kite make the loop and then after it sheets back up to catch you uh, just before the landing. It's uh, Super nice kite, but especially designed for big air kite surf riding, so uh, progressive big air. Uh, that means like you can boost to the moon, do a lot of sick kite loops, also double loops on the smaller sizes like the six and the five. Yeah, I like it a lot because since I started riding with this kite, I landed a lot of new tricks. 
a lot of uh, new board of rotations and, uh, and kite loops and also the double loop is the, the one I, I, I choose, the Nitro. Um, so yeah, if you want to try it out, hit me up via Instagram or WhatsApp or anything uh, and I will be there for you on the beach to give you the kite.